Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch, and you are listening to my 10-minute daily podcast, Reality Reflections. I bought into what this world said would make me happy. Money, prestige, power, and hey, if it feels good, do it, because life is stressful, so party hard. Do whatever makes you happy. But that didn't quite work out, because I felt even more insecure, full of fear, shame, and anxiety, and never, ever good enough. Then God found me and flipped my reality upside down and transformed my life. And I want this for everyone. So I left my executive career to help others find true acceptance, supernatural peace, joy, and love that only comes from a relationship with God. Here is my reality reflection for today. You know, it's kind of difficult to suffer and be joyful at the same time, especially when you're looking at things like illness of someone in your family, or maybe two people are in your family and they're ill. And when I'm talking ill for one person, this person is a little bit older and yeah, it is scary because it could be life or death. And then I have to battle the frustration and the anger with the medical establishment that we have been dealing with for the past six, seven days. And that gets frustrating. And then every other hour, I feel this desire to cry And that's okay too, just because I don't want my peace rocked, I do need to process the emotions. It's sad to think maybe I'm going to lose this person. I'm sitting here thinking, how and when do I bring the priest in for last rites and the apostolic pardon? This is how it's getting, it's coming to this point. And to deal with the frustration and sometimes anger when a doctor says, yes, this is very serious, but we can't get this person in until a week from today for this intravenous medicine. It's crazy. So I just want to let you know, I'm in the midst of suffering and I am doing my best to keep myself joyful and hopeful because I am seeing God at work. There are some things that are happening that I can't share just right now, but I have hope in a way that I didn't before. Only because certain things happen and I knew that, wow, if these didn't happen, then we wouldn't be in this situation. It's not a coincidence. It's a God incidence. So I'm thanking him and I'm praising him and I'm trying to make the best out of every moment so that I can spend time with my family, with this person, so I can make sure that I shower my love on this person, let this person know how much they mean to me. Not many people have that ability. So that's a grace. Thank you, God, for allowing me that time to communicate and to be with this individual on this journey. It's tough, everyone. It's really tough. (laughs) And it's hard to be joyful. But I also know that if I look at this person's life, they've lived a long one. They've lived a great one. They've had their battles, but with (laughs) the priest coming to visit this person, I am hopeful for this person to go straight to heaven because of the last rites and the apostolic pardon, but at the very least, have this moment of confession while this person is still lucid and can still speak and have Jesus there for the journey. It's scary, life and death, but it's not when you've got the beautiful sacraments and you have the ability to save our loved ones. 
from eternal damnation. So there is some really exciting, beautiful things that I want to make sure that I'm not too late for. I asked the doctor before I went to my talk this past weekend, is my you-know-who going to die? And he said, no, not this weekend. And I was like, well, that's an interesting (laughs) way to say it. But I heard God say, go, go to your event. Bring me to those people. And then get your butt back here and focus on this person so that we together through prayer, and that's the thing that I really want to say, it's been the prayers from you from the people that are all over my social media. I'm not saying it too much out there, but I guarantee you the ones that were at this event this weekend, I can't tell you how many people came up and told me that they were praying for this person in my life. And based on some stuff from last night, I feel like those prayers are working. So don't do it by yourself. Whatever it is that is your burden, as Jesus said today, you know, come to me, those of you who are labored and burdened, and I will give you rest. So we need him, but we also need others. We are not supposed to be walking this journey alone. We are supposed to be loving one another and having some spiritual companions on the way so that we can go to them cry to them, talk to them, ask them to pray, pray with them. That is the amazing thing about spiritual companions. And when I think about how many people through this platform, through my YouTube channel, through my speaking events, through my radio segments, where I could just call out and ask for prayer, amazing amazing. So with that in mind, we can get through anything with Jesus, with Mary, with the Holy Spirit, and we can be a witness to those around us of hope and prayer and faith. And that people can say, wow, I want to be able to deal with a situation like that, the way that that person did with truly the peace of God. So let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Come, Holy Spirit, into our hearts, into our minds, into our souls, into our bodies, and please be there for us at every moment, especially those times of suffering, those times when we want to maybe doubt you, to doubt your plan, to not have hope in your mercy and in your plan. Maybe we go down to the valley and we have to sit there for a while, but just know that, Lord, you will bring us back up to the mountaintop and you allow all these things to happen to sanctify us and to sanctify others. So we just ask you again for your peace in our hearts so that we can love those around us, that we can love you, we can give credit to you, and we can glorify you, and we can love ourselves as we go through this pain and align it to you, Jesus, on the cross so we can make it meritorious. Praying for all of those sinners, praying for those who are indifferent to Mary, and again, praying for anyone and everyone. Maybe it's even the repose of the souls of those in purgatory. Lord, thank you for the gift of prayer. We ask for you to come into our heart to fill us with your peace, your love, and your joy. Guardian angel, please guide our ways. Mary, take our left hand. Holy Spirit, take our right. Guide us in the way of love so that we can accept everything in our lives and know that it is God's plan, God's will, God's way is not ours. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, everyone. I just want to say thank you. Thank you. 
thank you. Thank you so much for your prayers because I know they are making a difference. If not in the end for this person, they are making a difference for me because I can feel them. And I just want you to know that I love you for taking a moment and just offering up the special intention for now these two people in my life. And I am praying for you and all of your intentions and your needs that God surrounds you today, that you can be love and peace and joy no matter what is going on in your life. All right, everyone, I love you all so, so much. Find something more with God, soul, mind, and body, and have a blessed and inspired day.